is very very important that they are able to focus on what is being taught they are able to concentrate and for that food is extremely important you can't teach a hungry child today we have with us mr shridhar venkat who serves as the ceo of the akshay patra foundation he has over 30 years of experience with leading multinationals like philips abb and webex communications india an eisenhower fellow 2014 for innovation shridhar has been working with the akshay patra foundation for the past 16 years he holds a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering and a master's degree in marketing management He is a graduate of the Advanced Management Program from the Wharton School, University of Pennsylvania. He is a recipient of the Mother Teresa Social Leadership Scholarship. His search for ex- existential purpose in life made him quit a corporate career and join the Ak- Akshay Patra Foundation, an organization with the vision: no child in India shall be deprived of education because of hunger, and their mission to feed five million children every day by 2025. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us for the interaction. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Pleasure, pleasure speaking to us. So, to begin with the interaction, sir, our first question is: At present, the Akshay Patra Foundation caters to around nineteen thousand thirty-nine schools across India. What is the criteria of selecting schools and non-profits for providing the feeding support? Is the demographic demographic data of families of beneficiary children taken into consideration to reach out to the most needy in the society? If yes, how do you incorporate inclusivity and diversity in your reach in the communities? So thank you for this opportunity. Uh, Akshay Patra, as you know, is a public private partnership. We are serving over nineteen thousand schools, twelve uh, states, and two union territories. we partner with the union government as well as the various state governments where we operate the state governments give us a list of schools where we should uh, do the mid day meal program so the very reason we do this program in government schools ensures that uh, you know the needy children are addressed because india's poorest of poor children go to government schools number one second is government schools have a very inclusive policy of admissions so it gets addressed at the design level itself thank you thank you so much for sharing that sir uh, the mission statement of the akshay patra foundation reads no child in india shall be deprived of education because of hunger education is the most powerful tool in breaking the intergenerational cycle of poverty and based on akshay patra foundation's work with children and of course your experience please tell us why addressing hunger should be a core agenda and how the same can contribute to socio economic development of the country you see world bank and un has studied and found out every dollar you invest on a meal program over a period of time gives 18 dollars in return to the country which is uh, implementing it or the location second is we all know how important education is for uh, you know for few, for transforming the society for uplifting the society for lifting the bottom of the pyramid from the poverty cycle now to ensure that children who are our future get well educated it is very very important that they are able to focus on what is being taught they are able to concentrate and for that food is extremely important you can't teach a hungry child right so all the programs of any nation all development programs of any nation or any government will not be effective if their children are hungry they go to bed hungry and come to school the next day okay their academic performance will get impacted and they will get into a vicious cycle of poverty and hunger our humble attempt is to break this uh, vicious cycle of poverty and hunger thereby bringing giving a fair chance and access to the children who are needy so it's like very very important that governments various governments state governments across the world uh, in india they all work towards ending classroom hunger 
our country has made a lot of progress in this front of course covid has uh, been a dampener on this initiative but uh, our country has made good progress india runs the world's largest school meal program largest in the world across uh, in, in anywhere in the world so very very important that children get good meal they get their uh, recommended daily allowance of food intake they get nutrition they get safe food they get good education so education and food it should not be food or education it should be food and education so very very important that if you want to change uh, the or positively impact economic progress of a nation children should not go hungry thank you so much sir for sharing that i completely agree with you that a hungry child cannot study and in fact you know based on our work as well we've seen that children who have uh, access to appropriate nutrition you know do comparatively well in their studies and other co curricular activities as well uh, now looking at the vast scale of the midday meal program in the country how do you measure your impact and uh, request you to please share with us the key indicators and methods adopted for the impact measurement so one of the very simple way to measure success of a program like ours is to see whether children are turning up in school okay so akshay patra keeps conducting regular studies uh, few indicators which i can share with you are enrollment rate of enrollment increase enrollment is one attendance okay how many children come to school then uh, their status in terms of height and weight measurements how much they have grown by eating a good meal okay and last but not the least their academic performance so studies have shown that a good meal increases enrollment reduces uh, dropouts and uh, reduces malnourishment as well as improves academic performance thank you so much for sharing that sir i uh, completely agree with you in fact that you know most of the children that study in these schools they come from a marginalized background whose parents are mostly daily wagers yeah. and you know access to having one one meal a day in the school is a huge support to their families now uh, as you mentioned before covid 19 has severely impacted the food security and livelihood of many in the country under the relief work carried out by the akshay patra foundation to distribute cooked meals and relief kits what was the criteria for shortlisting beneficiaries and was this in any way linked to the public distribution system how did you ensure that there was no duplication of the relief efforts carried out by different organizations so this was not linked what we did was not linked to the public distribution system we worked very closely with the uh, various state governments with whom we operate that ensured uh, the duplication is not there as number one second is we came up with a concept called happiness kits for children uh, this basically carried grocery uh, uh, reading material drawing material sanitary pads for girl children okay these were for our beneficiaries okay and we uh, distributed over 1.8 million of them uh, in in these uh, testing times we also came with the concept of grocery kits we also came with the concept of family grocery kits where happiness kits and grocery kits are clubbed and about 120 meal servings are packed into it so we had a methodology by which we used to ensure that the needy people get it and there is no duplication we also took the support of technology for it and akshay patra's missionary along with the support from various uh, uh, governments and bureaucracy really helped us okay and uh, as far as um, overall meal servings go in these testing times uh, akshay patra from the time pandemic struck we have served over 210 million servings to the needy sections across about 36 locations in the country even in places where we don't feed we have gone and fed uh we have distributed fresh uh, ration kits to the needy vulnerable sections you know vulnerable sections okay so uh, our operations team and the resource mobilization team they all got together and uh, i think it was a great teamwork i would say 
थैंक यू सो मच सर फॉर शेयरिंग दैट अक्षय पात्रा फाउंडेशन कंडक्टेड इंसेंटिवाइज ड्राइव टू एड्रेस वैक्सीन हेजिटेंसी अमंग मार्जिनलाइज पॉपुलेशन टेल एस लिटल बिट अबाउट द प्रोग्राम and based on your experience from the program what are the major challenges in vaccinating india against covid-19 and how did you overcome these challenges what are some of the best practices that you would like to share with us so you know do akshay patra's core competency is not uh, vaccination okay considering the testing times we were in we decided to act as an enabler Or, a, or an organization which will provide a platform for vaccination. So we tied up with leading uh, medical organizations, hospitals, and uh, conducted vaccination drives uh, in some of our kitchens. One in Bangalore in Jigani. Then we have uh, done one in Bombay. Uh, we are going to do one in Raigad. We have done one. We are doing one in uh, near Hyderabad in a place called Kandy. So all these locations put together. Uh, we have vaccinated about 150000 uh, people now what innovative solution we did uh, or best practice to follow was we for every person who came for vaccination we gave them something called as a raksha kit which is you know essential grocery required for somebody who is not well um, you know which is good for their health uh, immunity building so these kits were made and uh, that was handed over to every person who came for vaccination that became an incentive for the people at the bottom of the pyramid to come for vaccination people used to come and stand in the queue as early as 3 am in the morning for uh, vaccination so it has been a very uh, heartwarming experience for all of us that uh, you know so much to be done though we have done only very small we have just gone to a small drop of to the whole ocean actually that's beautiful sir uh, thank you so much uh, for sharing that uh, uh, you know as discussed earlier also the covid 19 also has impacted the educational system in a big way and it has led to closure of schools in india for a very very long time majority of the children who you know received mid day meals in india come from marginalized families and for many of them at times the mid day meal is the only wholesome meal in the day yeah. how do you cope with this challenge and what approach did you adopt towards ensuring continued access to meals for these children yeah so when uh, when the schools came to a screeching halt uh, as i mentioned earlier we came up with the concept of grocery kits for family cooked meal for vulnerable sections Uh, about half of what i told you 200 uh, million plus uh, servings half of it was in the form of cooked meals uh, we gave happiness kit for our beneficiaries okay so to our core program is cooked meal uh, we made a combination of cooked meal as well as grocery kits and reached out to the beneficiaries and that's how we did our bit and uh, now schools are reopening so we are eagerly waiting for children to come back to school so we can resume the program brilliant sir uh, the akshay patra foundation has recently collaborated with the indian institute of science bangalore to set up a first of its kind research lab to conduct studies in the field of food security for children what are the key areas of study that will be undertaken and the key outcomes expected out of this research how will the research contribute to the discourse and the efforts taken to eliminate hunger and malnutrition in children so we are very happy to be partnering with indians of science uh this partnership is aimed at creating a framework for community kitchens uh, creating a impact framework an impact study for uh, feeding programs like the mid day meal program and also look at uh, looking at areas to improve food security okay. and uh, akshay patra uh, and indian institute of science have started a course of action towards it and we expect uh, research papers that will come out of this uh, partnership and uh, we we look forward to creating something uh, good uh, which is required for uh, this sector 
and uh, eagerly looking forward. That sounds great, sir. I'm sure the you know efforts and research study that will be undertaken will be, you know, acting as a huge contribution towards the work undertaken by different civil society organizations to you know uh, deal with the problem of malnutrition in the country. Now, given the increased focus on nutrition for all and emerging innovations, of course, in the space, what is the way forward plan of the Akshay Patra Foundation? So uh, as far as way forward, see, one of the things which we have decided to stay, stay focused on is the meal program, uh, ending classroom hunger. What we will be doing is we'll be experimenting newer models of reaching the meals to children, trying to enhance the nutrition even more, uh, looking at pilots of school-based kitchens. Currently, our kitchens are centralized kitchens. We are looking at school-based kitchens. We are looking at community kitchens. So these are pilots that are in different stages. And once we get the right one, we'll be working on scaling them up. So innovation will be one of the key focus areas for Akshay Patra in the coming years. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing that. Uh, it's been wonderful interacting with you and hearing about the work that you've been carrying out. And from the information and the insights that you have shared, we are sure that it's going to, you know, help the communities and the civil society organizations working in the nutrition space to learn from one of the leading organizations in the country. Thank you so much for joining us today. It was a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you so much. Such a pleasure speaking to you. All the best.